Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today what I have for you is some Heineken 0, 0.0. I guess that's zero alcohol. <laughs> have a closer look. Okay guys, so let's open one of these up and pour it. Found this uh, neat little Heineken glass at a local thrift store. And uh, this was sitting in the fridge. I plan to do this part of that whole NA uh, chug series. And uh, this takes up a lot of room. I like having cans, so I figured it's time. So let's see what this is all about. Oh man, it tastes pretty much like a Heineken. Uh, it's a little, uh, obviously lighter, lighter body. It's a little sweet. It's not quite as skunky as a typical Heineken. Um, as far as other beers I plan to drink today, uh, I like the idea actually of chugging the Zero or NA beer uh, because I have uh, a handful of beers planned for the weekend. So why fire it up now and I'm going to enjoy some of these later. Check it out. Okay, while you guys were uh, checking out the uh, beer menu, I went ahead and filled up the beer stick, put two of them in here. I had the other three open, plan to put through a beer bong. Um, I think I went about this uh, the other week, doing the beer bong first and the beer stick last. I think that was a mistake. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna try this again. And uh, typically I have pretty good success with the, uh, the beer stick. Uh, the only time it kind of sucks is when the beer uh, turn straight to head and these NA beers are, are high uh, carbonation so it's always possible but let's see what happens all right ah, that was perfect I mean that was uh that was all right ah, I'm always making a mess over here uh, <clears throat> let's see Normally I get my uh, my bomb going in, in some hot water so the tube's a little more flexible. I didn't do that today, all I did was rinse it out. Now I'm kind of regretting it, but let's go ahead and pour these three into here, see if I can get this down. Uh, as far as the beers that I grabbed this week, I'm really looking forward to uh, the new Hot Butchers and uh, that Phase 3 Maybach. I heard is really good. I think I may have had that before. I think they released that once before. Not 100% on that. It could be wrong, but um, looking forward to that uh, clearly, uh, what's it called? The uh, Hubbard's Cave. Sorry, I'm trying to focus. I'm not very good at uh, multitasking. <laughs> uh, here we go. Anyway, it's that West Coast IPA from Hubbard's Cave. Um, clearly, uh, hop something or other. I don't know. I forget what the hell it's called. But um, I'm looking forward to that. I, I, I'm looking forward to uh, more uh, non-hazy uh, IPA releases. Um, I do enjoy the hazies, but uh, I'm kind of kind of over it, especially the real sweet ones. But uh, oh, and. Uh, Beef dipped, although that's kind of a regular release for Hot Butcher. I'm super stoked for that. Um, I am going to grab myself a big Italian beef today and uh, enjoy that with a big beef. It's one of my favorite Hot Butcher beers that's uh, a regular release. Um, I look forward to it every time. So anyway, uh, see what we got going here. Still a little bit of head in the tube. So I might uh, see. There we go. A little bit of head left, but there was some head in there to begin with. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, overall, the beer is not bad. Um, it's kind of like a really watered down Heineken. Um, it's not as skunky. Um, it's a little sweeter, but maybe it just comes across as sweeter because of, uh, I don't know, lack of flavor. <coughs> uh, it's definitely less skunky and. The overall flavor is just weaker, so more watered down like so. Anyway, guys. 
<coughs> um, good beer otherwise. Like I said, it's not a bad beer. Um, I don't do a lot of any beers, obviously, but um, if I had to pick one, I would uh, definitely drink this one again. Um, <clears throat> as always, guys, have fun. Be safe. Chug beers. Don't catch the bug. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next week. Take care.